And Matt Barnes is joining us. He's a fantastic photographer who is, in fact, taking brand new pics of us mm -hmm. that may end up being... We don't know he's a fantastic photographer. No, we do. <laughs> well, we'll find out. No, we do, because I researched Samples. Him. Oh, did you? Uh, is yeah. he, uh, is is he our photographer on your recommendation? No, no, but after I heard you were... Hi, Matt. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> like He's Matt's right not here. There. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we're yeah. having some pictures done because these have been out and about of us for a while now, and then we need some fresh ones. But we thought, since we're doing this with Matt, let's bring him on in and just talk about how to take a good picture, no matter who you are. And you can, right? Sure. Even yeah. with these. Even with those, I shoot a lot on my iPhone. I'm a big fan of Instagram and get a lot of hits yeah. and stuff like that through yeah. there. So, uh, yeah, I think you can take a picture of anyone. I think that anyone that is sort of like relaxed and easy going in front of the camera, it's easy to take a relaxed and easy going picture of them. All right, so. I think we have some, some examples of not great shots. Maybe we can show those and you can explain what someone did wrong. Okay. That looks kind of pretty to me. Is this a not great shot? It, it is, but it was, you know, for, you know, being a commercial photographer, like what the use is, it's for, you know, selling flowers and selling wedding dresses and things like that. So she doesn't look very happy there. It looks like right. her, you know, groom could have left her on her wedding day there. So I think right. that, you know, it's not towards camera. So, you know, just sort of working from that point to, you know, make sure that the photo is telling the right story and, you know, it's shot for the right reason and it's selling a product. You or, don't find that evocative in any way. You don't. You, no, not really. You no, want maybe. A smile on the face. Exactly. Maybe a, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, a little bit. Little <laughs> Let's bit take a smile. look at the next yeah. one. Yeah, this one here is again. Like I just thought it looked too like sort of lonely and yeah, lost, and yeah, a little bit. So. Mhm. Mm yeah. And then. This is the. Oh, yeah, I like this one. This is one. one you like. Well, right yeah. away, her face looks so much brighter. She Looking up means that you're optimistic, all those sorts For of things. For sure. I thought this one, thought she looked really cool in that. And I, you know, I like shooting a lot of, you know, real people instead of models. So this is my assistant, Pappy's girlfriend. And we dressed her up in a fancy wedding dress for the day and photographed them she's out of it. She's a stunner. She's beautiful, yeah. Wow. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, so there's the before and the after. So, so all right. So how, do, how does this translate into everyday picture taking? Well, I think that, you know, you know, depending on who you're taking a picture of, it's going to be a little bit different. I think that, you know, women will usually like to be photographed from a higher angle looking down at them, so they look smaller, and men like to be looked up at, so they look tougher and a little bit mean and a little bit aggressive. So. I love that. If anybody ever, get, like, scrooches down to take a picture of me and, and goes like this, I'm like, no! Nope. <laughs> I like it. I like shooting. I shoot a lot of women from a low angle. I like it when really? women look powerful and strong, so I, I kind of I like, I like that as I well. I like but, that, but I feel yeah. like it's not flattering. No, it probably isn't. Yeah, it's not that flattering. It doesn't so. do anything good here, but if you're yeah. up above and you're looking up at you, this all just kind of... We shot that uh, guy, that sort of millionaire Kevin O'Leary that's on Dragon's Den yes. yesterday, and we had to get pretty low, so he looked real powerful in his stance like right. this. Did he, did he cue you to that? Uh, no, I figured that that's probably okay. what he wanted and when well, he came over. What about the double chin thing? They always tell you to stick your chin out and some people always crank their head to one side because they think that looks, I don't know what. You know I, what I'm saying? Yeah. Or I this, think, you do the, they call, they actually call the skinny arms, right? When you kind yeah, of. Yeah, you can yeah, <laughs> squeeze your arms back. I think it's nice, like, you know, choosing the right lens to photograph someone as well. Like, the further are you, you are away from someone, yeah. the more flattering the picture's going to look. If you've got a wide angle lens on your phone, you're coming right in for a shot, it's, you know, your nose is going to look big, your ears are going to look weird, eyes are going to look weird and stuff too, so. Don't Matt, what about light? You know, you talk about shooting somebody from down below to look powerful, but could you temper that harsh look with some different light? Like, if they had light in front of them? Yeah, for sure, right? That would make it softer. Is I like right? to, you know, like your lights in here. They're all from above, so everyone gets a nice little shadow under their chin and stuff like that. Oh, so nice. we all probably look pretty good sat here right Got now. Got the jawline going. Exactly. Oh, makeup yeah. on too. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> will we have makeup today. Uh, yes, you will. Lots of makeup. <laughs> oh yeah, tons of it. Right. Like the kiss. More the better. Like kiss. <laughs> do you do, do you find the, that you have to create a lot of angles? Because that's what I find when I'm taking pictures. Is that a picture is two dimensional, right? And you're trying to create angles so it doesn't look flat and you don't get that flat face or you the double chin. You kind of want people to be coming out of the picture as well. So I always tell people to sort of like lean, you know, lean into the photo rather than like lean away from it. And, you know, it's a more engaging and you kind of feel like they're jumping off the page. You got sensitive there Why for a bit. Why did you do that? You, well, you went like, or the, you, you went, or the double chin. Referred, <laughs> because you referred to the you double chin it. earlier. <laughs> Is There's there a way to eliminate a double chin on someone who's really got a double chin, though? Yeah, Photoshop. 
Oh, for Photoshop. Yeah, really? Yeah, you just but that's liquefy, tuck it up a little bit. Yeah. I think just lots of light and, you know, not too much, like, fill underneath. So you can stand someone on a black background or, you know, standing in a dark room with a light up above your head. It's going to look and nice. And even for people who are just taking, taking shots here and there, there's a way that you can avoid having red eye in pictures if you look at a light. Yeah, I guess like if you're if you were looking to a light and then have a flash hit you, your yeah. eyes already dilated, I guess, so you wouldn't get a red eye. But they even have like a red eye correction even on like your iPhone right now. So I know it's amazing. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal anymore. Well, we're excited. Thank you so much. All right, me too. Matt Barnes, uh, how to take the perfect photo, and uh, we'll will later. we have any to right. show tomorrow? We'll Probably not yet, but we'll show some in the next little while. So we'll see you in about two hours. Sounds good for me. <laughs> <Yeah. Thank you. laughs>